One of the worst affected places on the island was down here at the airport in the south of the island. It led to the closure of the airport and nearly 100 people spending the night in the building. Well, we've been here since yesterday, about 12 o'clock at lunchtime, expecting to fly out at about quarter past four, then told that the flights were cancelled, and then another one at quarter past six, then the flight was cancelled again. Then we've been informed that the airport is completely closed, so we've stayed here overnight. We've actually heard that Manx Radio have been saying that they've been working all out to clear the runway. We have all been sat up in that lounge looking at that runway and we have not seen a single person out there doing anything to clear that runway. People are just sleeping on couches, we've we got elderly people. For a room for the elderly and the children because they just wanted the elderly and the children to sleep on the benches. So they didn't lay out any beds or...? Only after we argued for it. How do you think you've been treated? Poorly. Oh, Absolutely I think appalling. It's terrible. Absolutely they, we appalling. should have been updated and seconded. Why have we been booked in for a flight to leave? At what time was our flight today? You've Seven. booked in? Four, uh, ten to eleven. Ten to eleven. Ten to eleven. And the airport's closed till twelve, so why book us in for a flight that's supposed to be going out at five to eleven? And, and I think, again, we're not getting at Flybe. It's not Flybe. It's, not Flybe it's that's the, the issue. It's, it's, the, it's the airport. airport. The airport should have been telling the, us. The misinformation we've had about the runway has been ridiculous. First, it was we can clear the runway in half an hour. Then it was, we can't plough the runway at all because there's lights on the runway, but every airport has lights and they plough the runway at every other airport. Now we're being told they're out there doing it, but we haven't seen anyone for hours. Apparently they've been treating it with a, with a spray all night, but we've seen one truck go up and that was about six o'clock this morning and it's done absolutely nothing. The snow has not changed in the slightest. So total misinformation. We try, we've been waiting for what, about half an hour now to speak to someone at the airport who's actually in charge and they're just hiding in their office completely ignoring us. Um, so it's just total misinformation, it's just obviously fueling anger. Um, I do owe the passengers an apology. Yesterday, with all the things that were going on, whilst um, this morning the flights were showing delayed, and every flight was showing delayed, so you could see from the website the flights were delayed, there was no clear statement to put on the website that the airport was closed for the opening this morning. Uh, messages did get out to the radio stations um, before 6 o'clock this morning, um, but I wouldn't expect everyone to listen to the radio. Um, so some passengers did make a, um, a travel to the airport, and I'm very sorry about that, and I'll ensure that um, it, was, it was one of those things that happened that just missed off the, the checklist. I'm very sorry about that. Please like and subscribe to the Isle of Man TV channel. Thank you.